Legacy Christian Ministry Mtwapa presents The Voice of Faith Sauti ya Imani with Brother Kevin Shabogo Teaching God's Word with Simplicity and Understanding To Prepare God's People for the Work of the Ministry Get ready with your Bible, a pen, and a notebook Because God is just about to speak into your life With the Word of Faith Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God. Kelvin Chabogo here. And uh, this is the Voice of Faith Christmas Special. The Voice of Faith Christmas Special. And we have been uh, studying the book of Luke chapter 1. We have been studying the book of Luke chapter 1. So today we are in Luke chapter 1, verse, uh, Luke chapter 1, verse 59. The scripture says, so it was on the eighth day that uh, they came to circumcise the child. This is John the Baptist. And they would have called him by the name of his father Zacharias. His mother answered and said, No, he shall be called John. But they say to her, There is no one among your relatives who is called uh, uh, by that name. So they made a sign to his father what he would have him called. And he asked for a writing tablet. He asked for a writing tablet and wrote saying his name is John. So they all marveled. Immediately his mouth was open and his tongue loosed and he spoke praising God. Then fear came on all who dwelt among them, and all these things saying, discussed throughout all the hill of Judea, and all those who had them kept them in their hearts, saying, What kind of a child will this be? And the hand of the Lord was with him. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, in our previous broadcast, we looked at how other people rejoiced with Elizabeth when they heard that he was pregnant. Today, I want us to look at uh, what we call tradition. What we call tradition. Uh, every time during Christmas, different people have got different tradition. Different people do things uh, in a certain way. And sometimes... They don't even know why they do things the way they do them. But we want to be f followers of Jesus Christ. We want to do things as per the word of God. We want to do things as per the word of the living God. The, it was a tradition that the boy, uh, the child who has been born in a family, it was a tradition for that child to take the name of the father it is still a good tradition it is still a tradition today but i'm not talking about a name i'm talking about the tradition that we have today the tradition of christmas the tradition of christmas you realize that during christmas people do a lot of shopping during christmas people uh do a lot of buying do a lot of selling and there is a tradition of uh over over Iraq uh, over putting up with uh, Christmas trees and lighting up the lights and and you know um, uh, uh, talking about Santa and uh, and and uh, different stuff so giving kids stories that are not really genuine stories but the tradition that we want to follow ladies and gentlemen just like I said we want to follow the tradition of the Word of God we see here. Uh, Zachariah and Elizabeth when they were asked what they would name the son, his mother was quick to say the son shall be named John. When they went to Zacharias and asked him the same, his answer lined up with what Elizabeth had affirmed, that the name of the boy was going to be John. And this is what we want to do this Christmas time. We want to celebrate Christmas as per what we know 
the reason for the celebration. The reason for the celebration is not the much eating. The reason for the celebration is not, is not Santa. The reason for the celebration is not the shopping, the buying and the selling, the traveling. The reason for the celebration is not the decoration, is not the cloth, is not the shoes, is not the traveling, is not, is not these things. The main reason why we celebrate Christmas, we celebrate the birthday of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I know somebody say, somebody will ask me and say, was Jesus born on the 25th? Was Jesus born on a Christmas day? Well, to be, to be truthful to you, Jesus was not born on the 25th. We don't, we don't even know when he was born. We don't even know when he was born. But as long as the whole world know that 25th is the birthday of our Lord Jesus Christ, who am I to say no? Who am I to deny it? I will go by it and I will celebrate Christmas. In any case, everybody celebrates their birthday. So how comes now when it comes to the birthday of our Lord Jesus Christ, there are people that are feeling bad. There are people that are jealous. They don't want us to celebrate. Yet they celebrate their own birthday. Yet they celebrate the birthday of their, of, their, of their grandmother. And sometimes they don't even know when the grandmother was born. They don't even know the age. You know, there are some countries like where I come from in Kenya. When you are too old for the government to know your age, they just write your ear there. They just predict. They say, oh, this, this woman was born in 1930. But they still celebrate the birthday. So it's a tradition to celebrate the birthday of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Whether, whether, whether Satanists and atheists like it or not, we have to give God thanks for bringing Jesus into the world. Remember, he is the reason for the season and our tradition must be Merry Christmas. That is our tradition not happy holidays there is there is a scheme ladies and gentlemen there is a scheme to remove christ mass from the christmas there is a scheme to remove christ mass from the whole celebration so now secular humanism secular humanist the atheists and the satanists they have brought in santa they want us to believe that christmas is about santa they have brought in you know the 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 celebration that are taking us away from jesus christ you realize nowadays it's all about shopping the nativity story the nativity story is never told. During our days, we used to go sit down. We used to go to church, sit down, and there used to be Christmas carols. And, and, uh, and uh, we, we, were, we used to get stories about Jesus, how Jesus was born, and we used to dramatize the whole thing. Nowadays, that tradition is disappearing ear by ear. But we don't need to allow the tradition to disappear. We can bring it back by teaching our children the true meaning of Jesus, the true meaning of Christ, the true meaning of Christmas, which is a celebration of, the, of, of our Lord Jesus Christ. We are celebrating the day that the Savior of the universe, the Savior of the world was brought into this World. So we need to bring that tradition back, the tradition of coming together as a family, the tradition of sitting together and telling people, telling our family members about the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. The tradition of, of, you know, going to church on the Christmas Eve and we listen to Christmas carols. The tradition of greeting one another, Mary Christmas. In fact, when somebody greets you and tells you happy holidays, as a Christian, it's your responsibility to look at them and smile and tell them, Merry Christ Mass. Merry Christ Mass. Merry Christ Mass. Remember, they are trying to remove Jesus from the Mass. They are trying to remove Christ from the Mass. But without Christ, there is no mass. Without Christ, there is no holiday. Why? Because Jesus is the reason for the season. 
So we have to keep the tradition. We have to maintain the tradition. When they ask John, whom shall he be called? Eh? John said, he shall, uh, sorry, when they ask uh, uh, Zechariah, whom shall we, whom shall he be called? Zechariah said, he shall be called John. He shall be called John. Where did he get the name? From the angel of the Lord who had visited him. Oh, so he, they call him John in accordance to the message from God. We celebrate Christ mass in accordance to the traditions in accordance to what has been passed on to us. We celebrate Christ mass even when they try to change and bring in demonic traditions, satanic traditions. We must say no. We are sticking with what God has said. God said Jesus is the reason for the season. Jesus is the same. Yesterday, today, and forever. Hey, Merry, Merry, Merry Christmas. This is Brother Kelvin Chabogo reminding you that God loves you and so do I. God loves you the same way he loved Jesus. In all you're getting, make sure to get understanding and always remember, Jesus is Lord. God bless you. Je, ungetaka kupata nakala yako ya CD ya mafunzo kamili yanayofundishwa na Brother Kevin Chabogo? Basi piga simu kwa nambari 90. Should you also need information on Brother Kevin Chabogo speaking, teaching schedules and seminars, kindly connect with Brother Kevin Chabogo on Facebook. The Facebook page is Kevin Chabogo. Until next time, this is Legacy Christian Ministry Mtwapa, reminding you that Jesus loves you and so do we. In all you are getting, get understanding and remember, Jesus is Lord. <laughs>